Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing how I used glitter iron on on a chalkboard and I found this um, chalkboard at Michael's for around three dollars after using coupons and I hope you enjoy this video and I would love it if you subscribed if you are new. So first I'm going to upload an SVG that I found and I found one off of lovesvg.com so I'm going to click on upload images and open this up and then I am going to hit save and then I'm just going to select it and put it on um, in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these dashes out. I decided I didn't want those in there. So I am going to click on ungroup and then you can see here when you move it, it's all attached. So you can't individually go in and um, delete it, but what you can do is contour. So I'm going to hit undo to bring it back. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click on contour. And then I'm just going to hide all of those. I'm just going to hit my X and I have those gone. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make this all the same color because I'm just using the same color um, iron on for the whole thing. So I'm going to select this and then, and you can see over here in the layers panel that it's selected. When you move it, you can see it's this part, but you can tell, I always like to refer back to my like layers panel. So I'm going to click undo, I'm going to select this and I'm going to change it to the, um, the other color. And I like how in Design Space it shows up with the other color, so it makes it really easy. So I'm going to select that, and then now it's all the same color. So the last thing I want to do is just size it. So I'm going to select it all, and I am going to make it 7 inches wide, which is kind of what it's at. So I'll do 7 inches, and then I also want to attach this, because if I don't attach it, it is going to show up separately on my mat. So I just want to click on Attach and then I'm going to click on make it and since this is iron on we want to select mirror and then I'll hit continue and then I have my dial set to custom and I do glitter iron on and then I'll just show you on the mat how I do this I placed my glitter iron on shiny side down on the mat I am using the Cricut iron on vinyl then I load it into my machine and it'll start cutting. After the machine is done cutting, I take my vinyl off of the mat and then I cut a square around my design. Here I am weeding out my material. With glitter iron on, it's difficult to see the cut lines. Um, so a little hack I have is putting a small amount of cornstarch on the vinyl and the cut lines show up with that cornstarch. But for some reason, I could not find my cornstarch at my house, so I wasn't using it here. And I wanted to mention that I would normally use Oracle 651 on a chalkboard, especially because it doesn't cost as much as glitter iron-on. But I had some really pretty green glitter iron-on, and I wanted to use that, so I gave this a try. And I also think it's really fun to try out my Easy Press on unique surfaces. I set my Easy Press to 315 at 15 seconds, which ended up being a great temperature for this project. Next, I place my vinyl over the chalkboard and line it up how I like it. Then I grab some parchment paper and place it over the vinyl. I like to use parchment paper just to protect the surface and you can also use Teflon sheets as well. And then I set my Easy Press over that and I let it count down. If you don't have an Easy Press, you can also use an iron or if you have a heat press, you can use that as well. I started to peel up the vinyl and I think my Easy Press didn't fully cover it because the vinyl started picking up just a little off of the chalkboard. So I decided to do it again but with two separate presses.
Then I lift the carrier sheet up and this is my favorite part because I just love seeing how it turns out and this iron on vinyl did extremely well on this chalkboard. And this just turned out so pretty. I think it looks even prettier in person and it's a fun, quick, and easy project. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new.